Okay, thanks for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lameek Israel. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can be notified every time we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button. Also, don't forget about that um, donation link in the description box below. Grace Victory, famous YouTube star, have went into a medical induced coma. Yes, somebody have put this. I'm about to call her a B. Somebody have put this woman in a, in a coma one day after giving birth. Ain't this something? A ritual? Yes, it is a ritual, people. Let's go ahead and um have Brother Israel go to the report. This is coming from MediaTakeOutNews.com. Article headlines, YouTube star, Grace Victory, and Coma with Coronavirus. Now, we know the coronavirus is fake. But they want to say that she's in the coma because of coronavirus. They know, we know that's fake. We know that that is just, you know what I'm saying, a ritual. But what is the main symptoms that people are dying from? It's not the coronavirus. It's a diabetes. Heart disease. Well, anyway. Go ahead, Brother Israel. YouTube star Grace Victory is fine for her life after being placed in a medically induced coma the day after giving birth. Sure, some media take out news as learning. According to the message posted to the British bloggers Instagram Monday, December 28th, Grace Tested positive for COVID-19 two weeks ago while in the third trimester of her pregnancy. Her condition worsened and doctors were forced to induce the birth on Christmas Eve, December 24th. Christmas Eve. So she had her baby in December. Yes, sir. In the 10th month. 11th. Oh, she was supposed to have her baby in the 11th month, right? Oh, no. Uh, she's supposed to have her baby in the 12th month. She had it on the 10th. Oh, okay. Because we know that February is the 12th month. So she was supposed yeah. to have her baby in the 12th month, in the end of months, but instead she had it when? In the 10th month. In the 20th. 10th month. The day before Christmas. Completion. A perfect nimrotic ritual. A perfect... Hey, let me tell you something, people. I won't be too surprised if, you know what I'm saying, she's, you know what I'm saying, relaxing at home or just chilling at her vacation rental. You know what I'm saying? Just waiting on time to go by. I won't be too surprised. Because this is a ritual. Her baby... I want my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, baby, back sacrifice. Yeah, her baby was a sacrifice. Well, her baby's still alive, but her baby is a sacrifice. Her womb was a sacrifice. This sounds like a vagina ritual to me. You know what I'm saying? When she come out this a coma, if she is in a coma, you know what I'm saying? She's going to have the victory, like her last name. The victory is mine. Victory is mine. I I forgot how that song goes. Uh, it's a Christian song, but go ahead, Brother Israel. All right. Hold up, that. Victory. I don't even that. That's a that's a weird last name. Also, is that her original last name? Her birth last name? Wonder how what name she gonna name the child? A victory child? I won't be no I won't be too surprised if she named the child Jesus. <laughs> that would be that would be something if <laughs> she named the child Jesus. <laughs> Her condition worsened and doctors were forced to induce her birth on Christmas Eve, December twenty fourth. Grace was not due to give birth until February 2021. On the 12th month. 
On the twelfth day of Christmas, my Juba Tave and me. Uh, on the twelfth month, she was supposed to give birth. Go ahead. On the twenty fourth, you said? No, the two thousand twenty one. Two thousand twenty. Okay, go ahead. As you guys know, Grace gave birth on Christmas Eve to a beautiful baby boy who is currently doing so well. He's incredible. The post stated, we love him so much. Grace developed COVID-19 two weeks ago, and although her symptoms were mild at first, they worsened at, as the days went on, which meant they had to deliver the baby as soon as possible, as she was just too unwell to carry on with the pregnancy. Grace was admitted to into intensive care on Christmas Day due to issues with her breathing, and therefore they had to make the decision of placing her into an induced coma to give her body the rest it needs in order to recover. The post continued. The message added, she's currently stable. Please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. The 30-year-old YouTuber entered the ICU the day after giving birth and is currently in a medically induced coma. Yeah, that means somebody put her ass in a uh, Somebody put her in a coma. Grace from Hi Wife Home is known for her candid videos where she addresses tough topics such as eating disorders and mental health. Yeah, that's funny. So she addressed such topics as eating disorder. If you got an eating disorder, you have a demon. You have a demonic demon in you. See, because what they don't tell you is, if you read the book of Enoch, Enoch tells you about these spirits of the Nephilim. Enoch tells you what these spirits' characteristics are. These are the spirits of giants, people. And when the giants was in the earth, they were very greedy. You understand? They would eat, but never be full. That's what the scriptures say in the book of Enoch. They would eat, but never be full. They would thirst, but then thirst would never, they would drink, but they would never be, their thirst would never be quenched. They were very greedy. So when you see somebody who got an eating disorder and they just always hungry, always want to eat, and you know what I'm saying, you just ate, but you just still want to eat, that's a demon. That's an ancient demon. Exactly. That's the spirit of the Nephilim. You know what I'm saying? See, they don't want to tell you that. And then you got, and then she said. That believe in those, that dinosaur, that, that dinosaur crap and stuff like that. That, that, that's the Nephilim, that's their flesh. They ate like them. They were mm. stopped being hungry. That's all he did. And they said mental health disorder. That's another spirit. That's another demon. So let's see. So when she comes out of coma, she's going to have a big victory because of her child. And because of she in some type of coma, I guess she's going to be the gatekeeper for these two different demons. Anybody who need help, they can come. If you need help with eating disorder, she's the eating disorder demon tamer. You know how they got lion, lion tamer? She's the demon tamer. That's what this coma. That's what this coma is about. You know that. Uh, you know how you say. Uh, you know how Ali explained the uh, Judo priest and them being in the casket, mm -hmm. right, for three days and then coming out, and they shall uh, after they do a ritual, they uh, uh, enjoy their success for a certain amount of time. Prime example. That's what this coma is. Prime example. That's exactly what this coma is. But um, that... Okay, it go It says, uh, Grace Cannon, where she... Okay, that's the end of it, because it just repeats what uh, I just read. Okay, that's going to wrap this up, people. I want to thank you all for tuning. Um, but there is one more, there is one more mm -hmm. thing. There is, because this is actually important. This is what they kept out of what I just read. We love her so much, and we know she'll come out of this stronger than ever. She has dedicated her whole career to healing people. <laughs> now I, that you pray to heal her love, Gracie's family, and Bubba X.
she gonna come out very victorious. That's what they said. She dedicated her life to healing people. Demon taming people. <laughs> but anyway. Fellow YouTubers. Yeah. Shame. Sold out. She sold out. They so won't let her out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Brother Alame Israel. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop this juicy news. Hit that like button. Don't forget about hitting that donation link in the description box below. And if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group where you can learn a lot more, hey, it's very easy. Just send me a friend request to my Facebook page. P-S-T-R, Michael Smith on Facebook. P-S-T-R, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.